morning. It is Sunday morning, June 26th. It is just before 10 o'clock. Bob is off to enter his Barracuda in a car show contest thing. I normally like to go with him, but it's gonna be like 100 degrees out today and I really would yeah, rather be enough. busier than I thought it was going to. So it's a good thing I didn't go to the car show with Bob because our contractor is coming by to start some work on the kitchen today. Today, he was gonna to come tomorrow, he's coming today. <laughs> um, so he bought a couple of test pieces to replace some things in the kitchen that aren't working very well, some slide out shelves and um, to make them more heavy duty to actually hold pots and pans and not have the bottoms fall out because that's a thing. Anyway, so the two pieces from the, the company he ordered them from, which is kind of a test of their quality, came in. He's gonna come by today and install them. If everything goes according to plan, then he's gonna double check all of his measurements for the other things we need replacing in the kitchen and we're gonna have him do some work on the pantry cabinet um, to make it more sturdy and um, things like that. So. We need to test pieces to go in and make sure that's gonna work first. So it's taken months, you guys, actually more than that. I think it's been like a year since we contracted this job with him anyway. Um, so he's gonna come by today and do that instead of tomorrow. everybody it is just before 9 a.m monday june 27th don't get excited i looked already um it's already been a busy morning so i already had our robot vacuum do the floors already i went out in my pajamas and bathrobe and watered all the potted plants outside which we forgot to do last night before we went to bed um God, you guys. So I'm getting the impulse to do something else with my downstairs art stuff. Um, not the watercolor bag, the watercolor sketchbook bag. That's that. At the most, I would switch it to a different kind of bag, but it'll be on its own thing because I'm finding when we do travel, which isn't a, not a lot, but I'm really only taking that. I have these two beautiful leather suitcases of this one and a bigger one that I used to take with me when we would travel, but I'm really finding like I'm really wanting to pack minimal and I'm really only wanting to work at, in my watercolor sketchbook when we're away. I do still collect bits and pieces, but I work on sort of that life journal um, when I'm home. Um, that being said, there is a watercolor sketchbook in here um, that I 
think I'm gonna try to finish up. So I might like leave this out and in the bag I'm gonna have downstairs. And when I do go somewhere, I'll take this with me because it does have, I should finish this. I haven't of course worked in this since before COVID was a thing. Um, anyway, I'm cleaning out the leather bags because they were travel bags. And like, here's just the pile that's on this desk of, that's just pens and shit, pens and shit. I found a pack of baby wipes completely dried up because it's over two years old. Um, this is like, you guys, <laughs> I think the last time I packed these was when we had the um, massive wildfires here, um, which was like right before or right after COVID. And we were worried about having to evacuate. So I just jammed a bunch of stuff in here. I was obviously not in a good mental health space because I just, there's duplicates, there's triplicates, there's, I never unpack them. It's just a thing. So I'm gonna go through it. I'm gonna use the tote bag I made, which is still cute. I'm keeping it because, you know, I do rotate how I do things frequently. It's part of my creative process. I'm gonna put some of the travel stuff and or emergency go bag stuff that I wanna keep together in here. I can just grab this and the little suitcase and, and whatever's downstairs and if we need to evacuate along with, of course, personal important things and and yeah, but um, you guys, oh my God. All right, I'll be back. And I got that travel bag, downstairs bag situation sorted and a new setup that I think is gonna work for me for the moment. So I do, this is why I do sort of have a hoard of bags and organizing supplies, because I do find myself churning things often and it seems to be part of my creative process. I don't know about you, but it does what seem to work for me. I am, however, finding that I needed to change this part a little bit, but now that's leading to me needing, I need to do something about that. And I've actually needed to do something about that for a long time. Again. Oh, brother. All right, here we go. I was less about throwing a whole bunch away and more about just cleaning things up and rearranging it just a little bit. Looks a little better, maybe. All right, I think that's it for the minute. I need to go downstairs and have some lunch. Bone broth. Yeah, I'll be back. I'm gonna add the July mood board for my Facebook group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression the first Monday of the month, every month for 2022. We have what we call Moody Monday. And I post an a mood board and some photos associated with or used in the mood board and in an effort to inspire myself and everyone else for your creative life for the month. Um, if you want access to this new mood board and all the previous other ones, you can join the Facebook group. So anyway, I'm going to add that to my notebook here. I am keeping a composition notebook of all my mood boards. I do mood boards for a few different things. And so I'm keeping track of them this month and that just to remind me I need to print the RT Trio one because that yeah that has to go in here too all right I'll be back everybody it is Tuesday morning June so I, yes I want to say January it's not January June 28th yeah June 28th hey I got that right um it's about 9 30 in the morning and um we went from <laughs> 90 plus degrees, almost 100 yesterday, 100 the day before that, bright blue skies, no clouds, to overcast, and I think it's like 60 something outside. Welcome to Oregon. <laughs> anyway, and if you hear the faint sound of what sounds like chainsaws in the background, it's accurate. Um, we live next to the woods, which are owned by the school district, and they're supposed to maintain them, but this year it's just radio silence, getting them to come out here and trim trees and do some maintenance and, you know, make sure dead trees are removed so that they don't, I don't know, fall and kill somebody. Um, not to mention trimming back the ivy and the blackberries. So my neighbor got tired of waiting and he actually hired a gardener that we all use here in the neighborhood to come take care of it. The meanwhile, I'm 
at least once a week sending email making phone calls as well as other people in the neighborhood so I don't know if we just nag them long enough maybe they'll come do something about it I don't know we'll see I don't have any specific plans for today and it is 60 degrees outside by the way um I don't have any specific plans for today but just hanging out around the house and we'll see what I get up to uh this is a new, like, take it around the neighborhood sketchbook. And I don't know if I'm gonna do this today, but I am going to, it's not gonna be upstairs. It's not gonna be on the couch. This is going to actually stay um, with my stuff, my wallet and stuff. And when I go out, I'll be trying to take this with me and doing sketches out and about, which is a scary prospect for me because I don't do that. So we'll see. Um, I think that's it for the moment. I feel like I need more coffee, you guys. It's just one of those days. All right, I'll be back. Drawing in public is different than vlogging in public and for some reason it makes me nervous, but I did it anyway. I didn't let my fear stop me and I didn't let what other people might think stop me. That's what the book I'm reading is all about. Anyway, I also went where my instincts led me and I thought I wasn't gonna go far, do a few drawings and go home. That's not actually what happened. I probably walked about a mile. <laughs> Um, and I started with my street, then the main street outside my neighborhood, then I went to the duck pond, and then there's this cute little park where we're at now that's down the street from my house. So I am going to show you all the page and I'm gonna do some journaling and then we'll go home. All right, let's get started, shall we? It looks right now, my street, the rose bushes outside my neighborhood, the duck pond and the park we're at now. So I'm gonna do some journaling and I will put a finished still image of it in this little short video when I get home and I'll be right back.
some work in one of my journals and I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for showing this or not. I'm not gonna say what they are. Y'all can get the idea. Uh, had my mammogram, it's all normal, negative. We're all good, so yeah. Gotta do a page to celebrate that, right? All right, that's it for the minute. I'm gonna turn the computer off and I'll be back. Wednesday, not January, <laughs> June 29th, 10.40 a.m. Um, I haven't done anything spectacular this morning. I just, you know, nice slow morning. Not mad at it. I did do the page you just saw me working on. I am working on, I used to call them the year of my life journals. I don't know what else to call them. Um, but anyway, I do these pages to document certain things I that happen or that I do. And this one is about the Tigard, Oregon Balloon Festival that we went to. I went to one day, my husband went to two days and he also, they had a car show on the last day and he brought his old Barracuda and he won second place. So anyway, I'm going to document that. I did a page for that. I'm gonna let it dry. Got some leftover painting some painty papers from leftover paint. I just can't speak this morning. I have had all my coffee, I swear. Anyway, I heard my computer dinging in the background, so I'm gonna check and see what that was about. I'm sure it's a social media chat or something. I've got random miscellaneous crap on my desk I need to get rid of. And then I need to go down and sit down downstairs and have my bone broth, so. I know, exciting and riveting. <laughs> all right, I'll be back. One of our kids is gluten-free. She's got celiac. And anyways, so we are trying some gluten-free bread in the bread machine. Now, this is, a, this is an old bread machine. I bought it in an estate sale for 10 bucks for those that don't know. Um, it still works great, but it doesn't have a gluten-free set, setting. It's too old and there's no recipes for it that are gluten-free. So I'm going by some things I found on the internet and tips We'll see what happens. I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. So anyway, if it works, great. We've got some bread for a Friday family dinner. If it doesn't, well, we'll keep trying. We won't let it stop us, right? Just like with art. Practice, practice, practice. Okay, I'm gonna go check the mail. I'll bread there. didn't rise as much as it should have. Um, anybody who out there who's made gluten-free stuff knows how tricky the dough can be. 
Um, anyway, it does smell really good. It also, it looks like a little bit of the flour didn't mix in completely. So let's, let's see what it looks like inside. It's still pretty hot. It just came out of the bread machine. And the texture inside looks really good. If I can get it cut evenly, but that's just me. Yeah, it seems done. Probably could have cooked a little bit more. It's a teeny tiny bit doughy, but let's see. It doesn't taste bad. It tastes like bread. Hmm. Let's see what the husband thinks. It's 10 something AM. I don't know. I just looked and, you know, give me two seconds. I've forgotten already. 10, 17 AM, Thursday, June 30th. Um, I have counseling at noon. Hopefully the people who wanted the coffee table and end table that we no longer need, um, it's a charity and hopefully they're going to actually come by and follow through on that and get them today. We'll find out. They're supposed to text me. The birds are in the food bowl. I've made eye appointments for both Bob and I because we're, it's been a year we're overdue and my mother had glaucoma. Um, so, and I have, I have messed up eyes, you guys. Anyway, so you have to keep an eye on it. Um, and my husband, he, he just is basically blind as a bat. His eyes aren't as bad as mine, so. Anyway, so I made those appointments and I got the dishes done, some bread is working. Um, I checked on email, all that stuff. So now I get to go help him power wash. Yeah, I'll be back. for family dinner night and we've noticed we have this new little friend who's coming to eat the bird food. He's either a small rat or a large mouse. But yeah, I mean, he's cute. He just needs to stay outside and not come in the house. And Lily is trying to figure out how to get out there and eat him. Or catch him and play with him. Lily, there you are. Yeah, she's like, I want the rat, Grandma. I don't care what you're doing. Typical. Saturday morning, July 2nd, just like one or two minutes after 11 o'clock. Um, we had a slow start to the morning on purpose, which is fine. Bob is outside right now doing some yard work in the back. My neighbor is walking her dog in the front. But you know, anyway, we live in Oregon for those who don't know, and wild blackberries are just a thing and we have them in the six feet of easement space between us and the neighbors behind us. And yeah, so he's out in the backyard cutting the ones that are trying to come through the fence. Um, I've got all the chores going. You can probably hear the washing machine going in the back. Last night was really fun family dinner night. However, sweet Brian made um, monkey bread um, which for those that don't know is like a giant cinnamon roll, like little balls of cinnamon roll dough. 
and then you bake it and then you pull it apart. Like it's really good. It tastes like just like a cinnamon roll, but at least the way he makes it. Anyway, you're supposed to bake it and then flip it over. He flipped it and butter and sugar went everywhere. So then we had to spend a few minutes cleaning the kitchen last night. Uh, Bob and Rebecca mostly did that. And I was working on the dishes because literally there was butter and cinnamon sugar everywhere. So anyway. <laughs> Look at those, we planted those last year. Ah, oh, they're so pretty. All the birds back there by the pond which isn't even turned on and is not clean and currently has a leak so it's not working the water is disgustingly dirty but the birds must not care and these little tiny teeny birds i don't know what i'm not a bird person i don't know what they are but they're having a good time eating the bird food hanging out on the rocks I kind of wouldn't be surprised if there's a nest in the corner there somewhere. Hey guys, guess what I forgot to do again? That's right, close the vlog. That seems to become a habit with me right now. It is Sunday morning. The squirrels and birds are fighting over the bird seed. The possum was by last night. If you're watching this clip, I'll include that clip and you've you've seen that one already. Uh, it is 10.44 a.m. Hair's even still wet. So anyway, I don't know what we're gonna get up with for our day. Tomorrow is the 4th of July and the f kids are all coming over for a barbecue. But anyway, that's for next week's vlog. There's some fun stuff coming up. And if you wanna see some of what I'm doing in real time and or get footage extended footage of when I go on little vacations or adventures and things like that. Um, you need to be a patron or supporter. They get all of that over there. So anyway, um, I'd appreciate supporting the free content here on YouTube by um, shopping in the Etsy shop or becoming said patron or supporter or something like that. The links for all of that are down in the description of, uh, below. Some of it in my link tree list of links. Both bird feeders have birds in them. Anyway, um, it's all good. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have had a good week. We are having some interesting weather here in Oregon again. One of our friends who live in Southern Oregon actually had rain and hail yesterday. And we just started the month of July. Welcome to the land of much water. I don't know. Anyway, I hope you all have a great week. And if you're celebrating the 4th of July and or spending the day with family. I hope you have a good one. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'd appreciate that. And, um, you know, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you really do deserve it. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.